Yeah, this this uh, heel gimmick that uh, Swerve is doing, I I dig it. Um, he's he's so good. Gosh, he's so good. He'll be, he'll be, he'll do very well. Uh, yeah. If, 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 uh, my negative review of this match, my lukewarm review of this match, is uh, led you to believe otherwise. No, I'm very confident that he'll be just fine here in AEW. And then yeah. take Vinny's advice from last week and go watch him and Nick Wayne free on YouTube. That was it's better. Fantastic. That was better than this here Nice match. Yeah. Well, you know us a uh, degree of in ring charisma is young Nick Wayne. Does. That is true. That is true. Holy smokes, what a baby face that little fucker is. Could he be anything else? Let's be honest. Yeah. Could he be a heel? Mm, Someday. Not, not not today. Not now. Not now. I wouldn't do it now. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe he'd be an awesome heel. Doubt call it. Him, call him Butch. <laughs> you know what's Butch funny Wayne. about this whole Butch thing? Everyone's so up in arms about <laughs> Butch. That's the name they gave Pete Dunn mm-hmm. yeah. on, on SmackDown. And, uh, I mean, number one, uh, number one, I never thought there was any chance in hell that Pete Dunn would even be on the main roster. Fair. Am I the only one? Like, okay, we got a guy who, you know, they didn't even give him a lot of talking time in NXT, and he's small, and he's lean, and his gimmick is he's a wrestler. How did this guy make it on the main roster in the first place? I think that he should be a big star. But if you're Vince McMahon, how did this guy even make it to the main roster? And then they didn't actually, and this is semantics here, okay? They didn't change his name, okay? They admitted that you know him by another name, but we refer to him by his nickname, which is Butch. Okay. So in canon, he's still Pete Dunn. He's just their buddy Butch. And he wears fucking suspenders. What the fuck's with suspenders nowadays? Why are they putting all these fuckers in suspenders? Is you it your Madcap no, Moss has that. fucking suspenders. Yeah. Yeah, now filth- Butch has suspenders. You and Phil, they can have this argument uh, tomorrow. Because, uh, it's a uh, it's a company run by a bunch of old men, and I guess that's what the tough guys wore when they were kids. In the <laughs> were they were they born 20s. in the fucking thirties? Were they or the twenties? Are they were they did they come up in the depression? It's all these fucking suspenders. Oh, I got a great idea for you, Pete. First, I'm more offended by the suspenders, to be honest. <laughs> I, I am mean, uh, Colin Butch. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> there are many, many worse wrestling His name names than Butch. His Peter. Yeah, I'm not. I, honestly, it, it, it's it's an adjustment, and and it's one of those things where if you, you if you're gonna change a guy, change him in developmental so he can learn to be what you want to be. But Butch on paper is no better or worse a name than Pete Dunn. Here's the thing, everybody. You don't get. And listen, I'm not saying that Butch is like a great name or anything like that. But did you guys watch SmackDown before he got mad about Butch? So. No. Here's the thing. Everything that I said about Pete Dunne is true. He's small, and he's lean, and his gimmick is a wrestler. Have we not been watching WWE for three decades? Uh, how many guys has Vince figured out, oh, I know what to do with a guy who's small, skinny, and his gimmick is a wrestler? How many fingers do we have? Can we count on one hand? I believe we can, yeah. Okay. So his, they gave him the name Butch, okay? Because Vince wanted him to have what he thought was a tougher name than Peter, number one. And number two, his gimmick is supposed to be, uh, you know, that little guy who, when he gets really mad, you got you to pull him off because he's crazy. Sure. Like, that's, that's what Vince has come up with. Is it going to get over huge on the main roster? Probably not. Is he going to lose interest? Probably not. But at least Vince is trying to come up with some character that in his mind he can justify why he's putting this little skinny guy in with Seamus and Ridge Holland. He's got a tough guy name. He's friends with these two tough guys. And he's that little scrappy guy who when he gets mad, he goes all wild. That's what he's come up with. Trust me. He's come up with way worse, way worse than this. Not saying it's going to be a great gimmick or anything, but... He's the little yappy dog that uh, hangs around with the bulldog yes. on Warner Brothers Television. Exactly. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. exactly what this okay. is. Okay. Now, there was an incident last week where I lost my mind and uh, attempted some gory self mutilation. Trini, stop that! No! I don't believe my own eyes anymore. What I, what I think I see, they're telling me I didn't see. All right? <laughs> but that's what happened. 
Okay, so seven days ago, seven days ago, he shaved his own head. He comes back here. I swear to God, his hair's back again. <laughs> like, well, nothing happened. I'm trying to hang on. I'm trying desperately to grip on reality. And every time I, I'm, every time I think I'm there, every time I think I'm safe and stable, Duke Hudson's hair changes again. His motivation changes again. Something about Dante Chen. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.